Hey YouTube, what is up? Dark Magic Plague here again with another Obelisk the Tormentor deck build. This is a prototype, um, still in the making right now. I'm working on this. Uh, the way, the reason I use Obelisk the Tormentor is because it was my favorite card back in the Classic series and it's still a very dominant card right now. And um, not only that, when you're running a deck like this, with the changes that come out, you know how like six samurais were pretty much wiped. Um, after being like the most dominant deck out there, um, now it's all zombie and X-Saber. Instead of get, making a deck that costs you like a good $120, $130 to, for trades and buying and stuff, I just run Obelisk the Tormentor deck. It's pretty neutral the whole way that it goes with new updates and stuff like that, and you can update it to run Synchros and stuff. So that's what the update is, is to be able to run Synchros and Xyz. So for Synchros... Uh, in the side deck, we got uh, Cavalier de Fleur, Ally of Justice, Field Marshal, Thought Ruler, Archfiend, Junk Archer. Try to get two of these because you end up summoning him a lot if you guys if you decide to run him. Um, Gun Gunnar, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Stardust Dragon, Mistworm. Hail Mary, I guess you'd say. Infinity Doom, Infinity Doom Dragon. These you can't really run right now. Whoops. These two you can't really run right now. Um, I need another. I just need a regular one star in here, in my deck, uh, to summon formula. And then if I happen to have Stardust on the field at the same time I can summon formula, then I'll I'll synchro for Shooting Star. I'm getting a Ghost One courtesy of Pivot Port. Thank you very much. And then Xyz. I don't really like them too much, but I just have them anyways. Got Grenosaurus. Number 34 terabyte being traded away. And Gachi Gachi Gentetsu. So, yeah. That's my side deck. You guys can run pretty much anything. My suggestion, though, is run a Thought Ruler Archfiend and Cavalier de Fleur. At least have those. Mistworm's helpful. Um, Ice Barrier, it's pretty good. Junk Archer, very helpful, but he's the easiest to summon. He's not the best one to summon. So we're starting off with monsters. We got two Obelisk. No more running three because this is not 100% base around Obelisk anymore. Two Obelisk, three Nimble Momongas. Still running the Hero Kid technique. Uh, because I was trying to run Infernity Beetles, but it was just way too many tuners in here. Uh, two Quail Bolt hedge Hedgehogs. Two Junk Synchrons. If anybody has Ultras, I'm looking for Ultras. Still two Penguin Soldiers. Um, very helpful if you're versing Synchros because it's just an effect. It's hard to negate effects. Um, and, yeah, run them. Pretty good. One Delta Flyer, Spore, um, Mobius the Frost Monarch, I got pretty lucky getting this one, first edition Ultimate, it's worth 18 I think, right around there, and yet the Ultra from a different pack is worth like a dollar, but Mobius the Frost Monarch, he's in order, you need him to summon that. Not only that, he's actually got a pretty good effect. When this card is tribute summoned successfully, he's a one sack. You can destroy two spell cards on the field, spell or trap. So you can like pretty much wipe out the end, uh, the, your opponent's back row. Lone Fire Blossom. My edited marshmallow, which looks like broccoli. Dandelion. Spirit Reaper. Mosaic Manticore. Fleur Synchron. And you, you should run at least two Fleur Synchrons if you really want to be able to summon um, Cavalier de Fleur. So. Now on to the spell cards. Guess what? Now you can run two Swords of Reveal and Lights. So do it. It's now legal to run two because they're semi-limited. So what the fuck? Go for it. Two Steel Cages. Two MSTs. Pot of Avarice, Pot of Duality, My Body as a Shield, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole. 
And that's it for the spells. Now on to the traps. Um, this I just threw in here. It's a prototype for me. Liberty at last. Um, activate only when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Select like two face-up monsters on the field. Return them to the hand. So, let's say they have synchros on the field. You can pretty much get rid of them if they attack and destroy one of your monsters. You can get up to two of them. Uh, can't work on face down, so don't try that. And if you got a card in your in on your field that you know is about to be wiped out, you and you want to save it for like a synchro summon or something, you can activate this and you can pull it back, and you'll have to take the direct attack, or if you can negate it with something else. Reinforce truth, only one of them. Mirror force, seven tools, divine wrath, magic cylinder. First time I'm running Starlight Road, pretty helpful though. Dark bribe. Solemn Judgment. The seven tools of the bandit is going to be replaced with the Solemn Warning that I'm getting from Pivot Port. So, once again, thank you, Pivot Port, for the trades. You guys should check out his channel. I'll have his link below. He is probably my most trusted trader. Uh, he was my first trader, and I've traded with him the most. And I really appreciate um, some of the trades he's given me. So, yeah, guys, check out his channel. He's got some pretty good trades stuff. And, uh,. Yeah, so that's about it. Prototype in the making. It's not completely done. Not actually not even close to done, but I'm just showing you guys the progress I'm making. But it was a big step to allow it to synchro summon. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Plague signing out.